Welcome back to Let's Clean Power Wash Simulator. I'm Burning Dog Face, and as you can see, we've made quite a bit of progress on this Imperial Knight. Start things off this time by giving a shout out to Justin Jones, who says A note on the White Scars. They are a fairly human legion and later chapter of the Adeptus Astartes. There's a segment in the novel Salvation's Reach that demonstrates this. A guardsman, who used to be a crack shot, lost his skill with his long laz, which is the laser equivalent of a sniper rifle. He had been given a subpar augmetic. His jaw had been blown off in an earlier novel, but he didn't make the connection. A brother of the White Scars happened to be traveling with this regiment, the Tanith first and only, and found our guardsman practicing with his weapon. The White Scar figured out that the shit tier Augmetic was causing involuntary muscle spasms, and came up with a solution. I really enjoyed that subplot in Salvation's Reach. The Necrons, formerly the Necron tier, are why you should always read the fine print before making deals with star eating gods. The Silent King, the ruler of the Necrons, has had literal eons to, reg to regret his choice. That's why the Catan, said star-eating gods, were brought down and imprisoned by their former uh, servants. Yeah, it's a mess. I hear that when the uh, the Necron tier became the Necrons, they lost almost all emotion, and, al and uh, all of them who weren't VIPs were turned into mindless, obedient soldiers. Including the children upgraded into full-sized, uh, chassis. Harsh. Speaking of which, shout out to Elthwar, who says, uh, well, first he says, I think in 40k, skulls are considered sacred in the Imperium, either representing the Emperor himself, or veneration of humanity, all wrapped up in a death cult-like behavior. Yeah, I heard uh, that it's like, oh, it's, you know, what we all have in common. Beneath our differences, we are all beautiful. Uh, fun fact about the relationship between the Necrons and the Mechanicus. The Necrons want to return to biological life, since they found the transference to be extremely traumatizing, and the designs to be more restrictive than expected. Also, the Mechanicus call the Necrons abominations for being minds in pure machine bodies and being too close to AIs. But the goal of tech priests is more or less the same thing. Frankly, it just comes across as the Mechanicus is mostly angry that when they see what they imagine their heaven to be, they find aliens there telling them it sucks. <laughs> all the way on. The only big one left is uh, the, the, the Arsk uh, pauldron, which I've maintained despite a few slip-ups. What, this one bolt isn't uh, clean? I guess it's not as shiny as the other ones. <laughs> the extension and everything. Better!
Nope. I'm not standing on any. Th oh, I'm standing on the end of the chain sword. Okay. I was really confused for a moment there. I thought I was levitating, or maybe one of my uh, cords got stuck on this thing. Honestly, you would think with all the hoses and cables coming out of their bodies that they'd have more trouble with tangling or getting caught on stuff. You let me in there. Oh, where do I stand to hit that? Fucking tiny ass crack around the uh the exhaust ports. Oh, missed another one. I kind of want to stand on the steam vent. reflection it just happens to be the same gold oh dear I got the helmet but not the face ish what is that head okay yeah sure ooh yes good mm, serotonin tilt shield I wonder what that's for it's really small I mean, it's got a, an, uh, you know, an arm thing attached to it, so I'm sure it can tilt, like the name says, it's just... Again, for a farewell to Arse. Well, there's a lot of cool bits I can get in here. I'm sure if I get back up in the shoulders, it'll be ugly. Oh, I missed a spot. Oh, that's not the drum, that's the pelvis joint. Yes, I've cleaned the cod piece. I made a joke about it way earlier. Oh yeah, look at those shoulders. Look at that. Finally got one of the full pauldrons. What am I doing? I just it just told me that. Yes. Um.
Hell yes! Torso cleaned! All right. Oh yeah, it does get longer, I wasn't sure. I salute you. Oh! So, so given how hardcore they apparently are, I'm sure Hawk Shroud wouldn't be happy about the word arse being there. Hey, is it ab it's one of those things where it's like a lot of the Space Marine trials. Is it absolutely necessary to kill most of the people who don't go who go through the initiation ritual, or are you just doing that to show how hardcore you are? I'm not even sure the Space Marines, uh, put you under for the surgery in which they implant all the artificial organs in your body and actually make you a Space Marine. You probably think anesthesia is for cowards and heretics. I don't know that they don't, but I have seen at least one image that made it seem like they did. Oh, for God's sakes, I just got the pauldron before I got these two plates. That's very funny to me. Excellent. 98% clean! I don't think I can actually get through that. Oh, oh! No, it's not working. How do I do that? That works. Okay, yeah, yeah. Torso frame. Weird, severe angle there. rear trim. Oh. Shit. Uh, maybe if I stand on the gun. I like that. I popped like three feet in the air when I got to the top of the ladder because I was going so fast. Uh, where is the ladder? Up there. There! See here. Okay, that works. Oh, yes, that. Man. Can I, like, wedge myself over? Yes, I. No, I can't get a good view of it, though. Definitely not standing on anything. I'm just leaning the stick into the thing and it's not letting me drop. Let me guess, as soon as I stop tilting the stick in this direction, he stops. Are the guns dropping up and down constantly too? I don't know what's up with that. I'm guessing as soon as I let go of the stick, I'll fall. It's true! The prophecy has come true. Um. Fun fact you can make anything sound more important by finishing the sentence with, in accordance with the prophecy. It's not a 40k thing, it's just fun. <laughs> See, I feel like it's that kind of nonsense that got me uh, voted most likely to become the Joker when I was in high school. I wasn't sure if that was a compliment or not.
cleaned. Why, you could eat off that taint. I tilt it right here. God damn it! I'm trying to find an angle from which I can no longer see any shinies. Oh. Oh, right. How did I get over here in the first place? Oh, I just jumped off to the barrel, didn't I? So if I stand right here... Did I get that? Not quite. Oh, hey! Shield mount cleaned. What I like about this is that you could probably take these pistons, put them in the hands of any like human-sized model, and people would probably buy them as guns. Uh, not like spend money on them. They probably just look at those and accept that those are guns in their hands. suddenly reminded of, I don't know why, of a set of uh, stealth orc units I saw once as a joke. Someone, like, customized a bunch of miniatures. Where it's like, one of them is holding a small bush in front of himself, and, uh, one of them is just literally standing behind a, uh, a cardboard cutout of, uh, like a poorly drawn ultramarine with, uh, you know, who's, like, saluting. As a general rule, like there are exceptions in the different clans and stuff, but as a general rule, orcs despise stealth because it's boring and fewer people die. To them, I mean. Stealth can be very tense and exciting, if you ask me. I'm going to the cockpit. Oh, I didn't get the Aquila. Oh, I didn't get the Aquila from an angle. Fuck. Okay, uh... Hooah! Oh no, I'm levitating again. I have to let go of the stick and let myself drop down to the lower level. Oh, I see. Yes, that's not a good thing. Uh... Okay, yes, good. Extend away, Archibus. Uh, no, uh... Yes! Simple of the Imperium shines clean and proud. In fact, while we're at it, just a hint of soap to make it sparkle. <laughs> I don't know why I resist using the soap. I guess it's because it's a limited, it's technically a limited quantity, and I'm afraid of running out. It's like that same impulse that means you never use any of the items you find in an RPG. Come on, 99%! Head hood carapace. Ooh, when I did that and these three things in here lit up, it looked like eyes, and that's really cool. Timer, but we are on 99%. Let's see if I can wrap this up in a reasonable amount of time. If it didn't just cut to uh, me doing an outro, then presumably I did. to edit that out. It would be embarrassing. Hey. 
head cleaned. Okay, uh, battle cannon body on the back part. Oops, I didn't hit jump in time. Yeah, that one's on me. Believe it or not, I am in fact not infallible. Oh, it's a good angle for this. Oh, good. That's what I was missing. And start from the bottom. Waist joint. I can barely even see it from up here anyway. I know it's fairly clear from down there. Oh, 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 I saw something. I saw something. Yes, computer, I heard that. I mean, we could do that. The last time I ordered pizza, brother Matthias got really pissy about it because he just replaced his stomach and couldn't eat anything. I don't think anyone's had the upgrade surgery in a while. What the hell am I even talking about? Uh... You know, it would be very funny if I took one of those prayers and actually translated it into binary, but then the beginning of the video would be like, five minutes of me just rattling off ones and zeros, and nobody really wants that, no matter how dedicated they are to the joke. Oh, there's so many different little bits. Fucking... Fucking teeth. I need to get back up on that floor here. Get on the same level. Oh, there's a big patch right here. have anything to do with the thing I'm aiming at, does it, uh... Come on, you bastard! Yes! Uh, huh? Top carapace. Oh boy, this'll be shiny. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, the little dots and shit. Wait! Can I see that from underneath? Okay, sick. I just wanted to make sure, because that's gonna be a huge pain in the ass to get the underside of the very top of the robot. Honestly, you'd think they'd assign, like, 50 guys to this job and they'd be done in 10 minutes. It's really efficient! And that's kind of their whole thing, isn't it? Oh, that's a bad one. Oh! God damn these cracks in the wall. How am I gonna get that thing? I didn't see any dirt on this fucking- Ah! Could it be this one screw? Evidently not. Yes! Got eight dollars for that one all on its own. Lower leg auxiliary pistons. Let me guess. Yeah, they're all... Oh, there's one in the front! Oh, I hate this. Oh. Oh. It's like they... 
Uh, specifically designed this piece of metal to get in my way. Is, is it even attached to anything? Okay, it's attached to the thing I need to clean. Great. Okay. That could have been a huge pain in the ass if I hadn't already gotten most of it. Uh... Okay, yeah, that was, that was uh, all of them, I think. Ooh. Come on. Oh, this big old gear right here. Well then. That's gonna be impossible. Chest heavy, heavy, stubber cleaned. I don't know why I stumbled over that particular word, stubber. Doesn't sound like it would be any problem at all, and yet. Reactor housing. Up there. Oh, I was standing next to a ladder. <laughs> Shit. I'm just so used to running to the front. Ooh, I don't love this. I also don't see any filth. One of the, uh... The actual rules for the orcs is that they're really, really good at capturing abandoned enemy vehicles and, you know, orking them up with new weapons and bigger engines and stuff. Uh, so there's, like, actual rules where you can take a vehicle from pretty much any faction, cover it in junk, and call it an orc vehicle. I was just thinking it would be a very funny level if you had to clean off a re-recaptured, uh vehicle that uh, has been blasphemed upon by the orcs. Whoa! That was not where I meant to jump. Sorry, I'm still getting used to these feet. I mean, the old ones weren't as flexible, but they were so much easier to control. Whoa! God damn it, I can't even see the reactor assembly from here. Yes, I'll be in front of even higher. That will help me. I know where it is. I just can't. Ugh. No! Damn you! For sure, it was this little shelf here. Uh, helm. Oh, the helmet on the head. Oh shit, that's not good. Head well cleansed. Yes, it was, but not well enough apparently. <laughs> Ooh, there's the list! Cockpit filtration systems, cockpit hatch railings, and helm. Helm. Didn't need much. I was surprised. Uh, the hatch railings are on the roof, and by roof I mean back. Sorry, it's really big, and I forgot it wasn't a building for like a second there. Uh huh. Cockpit hatch. But those are clean.
Oh, up here. I started off by cleaning that one. Got you, you little shit. And finally, cockpit filtration system. There it is. Oh, this little fan here. Wow. Oh, let me guess. It's on the edges of the blades. I don't see shit. Well, I guess I'll just try and hose it off and hope for the best. Yes! Sacristan's duty achievement unlocked. Complete the Imperial Knight Paladin job. Oh, look at me go! And I did it in a slightly more sensible manner than before. Nice. <clears throat> Chant of the Electromancer complete. Uh, from Magos Pertinax Pius. Engine Seer, it is glorious to see a knight so illuminated. I feel its motive force yearn for its destiny. Update. I am told that our forces are now fully assembled, cleansed, and boarding for withheld strategic ace to mayor B-785. The knight will spearhead the vanguard. It is vital, the redacted heretical. Consider that our full force, or consider this our full force, whilst redemptor, redemptor dreadnought Zekiel is dropped behind enemy lines. Trust that we will soon hear of our mon monumentous, er, oh, momentous triumph, even. Odd. May the will of the Omnisaya glide us. God, Jesus Christ! If I can speak, I'd be fine. Guide us all to a glorious end. Oh, one more time. Look at me go. Such like the quick shots you get of me standing on the gun or the chainsword. And just a peek at the next job. Probably the last job. A Thunderhawk. That's a plane. Forge Temple, Ring of Iron, Mars. Hell yeah. I'm not sure where they're going to fit that. Isn't that a transport plane for the Marines? No, well, we'll see. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Clean... I was about to say, Let's Clean Power Hawk? No, Let's Clean Power Wash Simulator. <laughs> Jesus. Uh... Have yourself a great day until then, and remember to treat your machines with the utmost respect. Later, Burning Dog fans! <laughs>